Hello everyone, Rich here again. Ever been in the situation where you need to pick a username but the name you want just is not available? It happens a lot. You need to pick something else and one of the easier sites to do this with is morewords.com. I suggest going to all words by word length and then start with the four letter words. We'll do B. Bail, bass, baba, babe, babu, baby, bak, back, bait, bads, baff, bags, bat, bail, bait, bake. You get the idea. But of course, when you choose one of these words, the username is not going to be available either. So actually, what I do recommend more often than not is just to use uh, what's called writing in lead speak. Now, I know lead speak to a degree is lame, but the deal is is that it is easier to remember than a long username. Like I wrote a little thing here. Nobody cares what your username is since they're going to put it in a contact list anyway. So if it's on an instant messenger list or if it's an IRC channel name or uh, an email address, whatever it is, uh, it, do it doesn't matter people see it, they're going to put it in a contact list, so it really doesn't matter what the name is at the end of it all. Also, shorter usernames, even if complete gibberish, are easy to remember, or should I say easier to remember. Now, if I had a username like rich.menga at whatever dot site compared to b1k3 bike in lead speak, at site. Okay, which one are you going to remember? Or should I say uh, whatever dot site. Okay, which one of these are you going to remember better? This one. It's only four characters and because it's kind of a non-standard way of spelling something, it works. Or I take another four-letter word like tree, tr33 for tree, or a uh, rope, r0p3 whatever it is, it is easier if you just type something like this or choose something like this and uh, that's the one that you use. And yes, I know it looks dopey. Oh, that's a good one too. Uh, D0P3. <laughs> so anyway, uh, these names like this will be in fact easier to remember and more often than not more available compared to standard dictionary words. So you go to morewords.com, you look up the four letter words first, and you pick a standard dictionary word out of here. Uh, what was that one I just saw? Bays, bean, bo, beck, beds, beep. Oh, that's a good one, beep, B33P. That would be a real good one actually for a username. Um, and here's the funny part, even on YouTube, there are still four letter usernames available at least right now, before Google Plus forces everyone to use their real name, you can, in fact, get something which is four characters long if you, you use it uh, lead style, or if you just put something which is complete gibberish, like 7Z09, uh, you probably could get that YouTube username. I don't know if it's available or not. Probably someone's going to register it right after I just said it, but whatever. Now, if the four-letter words aren't available, or you pick two and uh, you pick, excuse me, a four letter word and it's not available, even in lead speak, do two four letter words in a row, like beep, beep, or bike, beep, or boat, uh, what's another, boat, bark, whatever, doesn't matter. Then you can move on to the five letter words, uh, like hotel, or haiku, or what's another one here, hangs, happy. Blah, 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 blah. Hater. Oh, where I just saw that. I know it's in this list. I just saw it. Okay, let's try it. H-A-T-E-R. There it is. Hater. <laughs> YouTube's full of those, aren't they? Anyway, so you can use more words at morewords.com. Pick a four-letter name. Translate that over to LeadSpeak. And you've got yourself a username. If it's not available, even in lead speak, do two four-letter words. If that's not available, do a five-letter word. 
two and three letter words are probably not going to be available no matter what you choose, even in lead speak. So uh, I maybe two three letter words, but not one three letter word. I seriously doubt it. Like if I do the B's here, yeah, you know, ba, bad, bag, ba, ba, barn. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. I read that right. Bam, bat, bay, bed, be, beg, bell, ben, bet, bay, bib, bid, bio. Anyway, I'm rambling now, but you get the point. So when you're doing your new username, you know, like that one I said a moment ago, beep, beep, at uh, b33p, b33p, at whatever.site, it works out very well. Oh, and by the way, one on the last tip, if you want like a super short, super short email address, there is gmx.com, but wait, it gets even shorter because they have gmx.us or gmx, whoops, gmx.de for German. It's most likely true that if you're watching this, you're from the United States or you may be from another country, whatever. But the point is, is that um, GMX has a lot of two letter top level domains. So if you did something like uh, beep at gmx.us, that's awesome. That's short, very short, very easy to remember, less to type, especially works good on mobile platforms because no one wants to type out a long email address on a smartphone, right? So there you go. Check it out.